Hey, what up guys? Welcome back to my programming channel. Have you ever wondered how a blockchain gets upgraded? How do you add new features to a blockchain? And for example, how does Ethereum release uh, its new versions when the new version is complete and they want to release it into the wild? How do you actually do it, guys? This is a very interesting question that I've asked myself when I learned about blockchain technology. Because as you know, guys, blockchain is a decentralized uh, network and there is no way for a central entity to force everyone to upgrade to the new version or to the new release. So how does it actually work? Let's talk about it. There are two different ways you can upgrade the blockchain. And one way is to do a soft fork and another way is to do a hard fork. So what is the difference between those two ways? Let's begin with the soft fork. When you release a, an update to your software on the blockchain, for example, when the Ethereum Foundation releases an update, they can either release an update such so that the new version is completely backwards compatible with the old version. So the old version would be able to interact with the new version. With the, so people who have the old version and haven't upgraded yet, they would still be able to see and interact with uh, everything that happens uh, that comes from the people who have the new version. So that is a soft fork, guys. We have a new version, but it still works with the old version. However, in a soft fork, it could also be the case that the new version has some kind of extra features that are only available in the new version. However, guys, however, if it is a soft fork, those new features shouldn't... Um, shouldn't uh, prohibit this backward compatibility. So although I, I as an old user that hasn't updated yet don't have the new features, I'm still able to communicate with the new version. So from my perspective, if I haven't upgraded and I still have the old version, so from my perspective, nothing changes. I don't see any difference in the in the blockchain. However, if I upgrade, I get some extra features that I can use. How and I would still be able to talk to the old old guys who haven't up upgraded yet. And so that is a soft fork. So if if for example Ethereum Foundation uh, has a new version of the software and that they want to release, uh, they can put it out there and then people and tell people to download it. However, if someone doesn't download and upgrade to the new version, uh, they are still able to work and function as they uh, did before. And so that is a soft fork and that is a way you can add upgrades to your blockchain guys. Okay, now so we have soft fork figure out. Let's talk about hard fork. As you may imagine, guys, hard fork is an upgrade that is not compatible with the old versions. So, for example, uh, a good example could be the Bitcoin uh, uh, blockchain. And there is a debate right now whether they should increase the block size. And so if they increase the block size, that would be a hard fork, guys. Because the new version of the software that works with the, the increased block size uh, wouldn't be able to communicate with the old version of the software and vice versa. So they, those two versions would be running on two completely different uh, blockchains. And those blockchains would look identically to the point where the hard fork happens. So they would agree on everything up until this point where the hard hard fork happens and um, th there is where the difference uh, starts and where they stop communicating with each other. And so in practice, they really become two separate coins, two separate blockchains. Uh, so if you are on the uh, old version of the software and there is a hard fork and uh, people upgrade to the new version, uh, those two groups, the old and the new version, would 
not be able to communicate. You, you wouldn't be able to send money from or send Bitcoins from the old version to the new version. So there is a big difference between a soft and a hard fork. With hard fork, you split the blockchain and you actually start a new blockchain, a new ledger that is completely... Uh, completely identical to the old one up until a single point where the hard fork happens and there is where the difference begins and so in practice guys in practice uh, everyone is really really careful when it comes to a hard fork because as you can imagine guys a hard fork really splits the community it really splits the whole network into several parts because if people don't upgrade they're simply not the part of the new network they're still part of the old network and they are actually not really using the same coin it's those coins become separate and that is exactly what happened to ethereum and ethereum classic guys so you may have heard the whole dao story uh, where 50 million dollars got stolen from the DAO and uh, I'm not going to explain it in detail the story about DAO you can read it yourself however so after this hack or after this uh, theft of 50 million uh, of 50 million dollars in in DAO uh, Ethereum did a hard fork where they reversed this theft theft However, some people didn't want to do a hard fork. Some people wanted to continue on the original blockchain and they didn't upgrade to the new version, the hard forked version. And as you know, guys, now we have Ethereum and Ethereum Classic and Ethereum Classic is the old version, while Ethereum is the new version that has hard forked and rolled back the theft that happened in DAO. And the reason why those people didn't want to upgrade to the new version is because of... Uh, philosophical or uh, ideological reasons because the whole idea of a blockchain is that it should be immutable that uh, we shouldn't roll back uh, some uh, unpleasant uh, events such as a theft uh, so they wanted to continue on the original blockchain out of those reasons while uh, the mainstream uh, ethereum um, community or like the the Ethereum we usually speak about when we say Ethereum, they hard forked and created a new coin, but it's, and that is what is called F. And Ethereum Classic continued and they are called ETC on the market. So, yeah, guys, two ways of uh, updating your blockchain, updating the software. And uh, also, if you release an update and no one switches if a very small uh, small percentage of your uh, users switch to the new version uh, as you imagine this this upgrade would be useless so you as as a blockchain developer you really really need to have a good a uh, good explanation or you really need to convince people to upgrade to the new version maybe have some new features improvements uh, because as we know blockchain is decentralized so if people don't like your new hard hard forked version it could uh, very well be the case that they don't upgrade and we end up with two different uh, coins uh, so people are careful when it comes to hard forks and usually guys usually when someone wants to do a hard fork they usually tell everyone that okay from uh, in about a week or a month or some time we're going to do a hard fork you can already now download the new version however it will function exactly as the old one until this point and from this point this date in the future is going to function as the new uh, as the new version and that is uh, to give time to people to upgrade you maybe give them two weeks or a month to month to get this new version and then the hard fork really happens so it's, it's a good idea to uh, inform the people in advance that a hard fork will happen if you don't upgrade you will be on, on the old blockchain that is completely separated from the new blockchain and if you do upgrade you will be on the new version that is completely separate from the old one so um, 
as you uh, as as you can imagine, guys, you want a majority of the people to switch so that the new version becomes the most relevant and the most important one. While in a soft fork, if you do an update, it still works with the old uh, clients, the old uh, uh, the old versions, the old people who haven't switched yet. But you might get some additional features that are not available for the old versions. However, you as a old version user, as an old version user, you wouldn't uh, notice a difference. So it's an optional upgrade when, when we talk about soft work. And the hard fork is a mandatory upgrade. But you really need to get a majority of people to switch if you want your upgrade to become relevant. So that is, guys. What do you think about soft and hard forks? Have you, have you any opinions? Guys, that would be really interesting to hear. Have you any opinions on Ethereum versus Ethereum Classic? Uh, Write your comments in the comment section below. And if you are a new viewer, guys, and you like programming, you like blockchain, you like technology, you should definitely subscribe, guys, because you will find this channel interesting. I myself am a software developer and I post videos every single day, guys. That's it for today. I'll see you guys tomorrow.